Howdy, we're back. Um, this is party-based game. Um, although your file says Party Monster Grill RPG win 64 shippingexe Um, why is your title screen like off-center? Ooh, we got, we got bare bones UI. This is real work in progress shit. Alright, um... That's all camera control? No. Maybe. I don't like how I'm like, uh, I'm like zero access onto the ground. Which means in reality, I'm shorter than all the characters. I need up and down movement if this is going to be, uh, okay, camera. Also, why the fuck did it get dark that quick? Um, always. Always start your uh, your your tick rate for um. Here, let me turn this up. Always start your tick rate for um. Your day night cycle, at the the earliest possible daytime. Also, it's like going it's going way too quick. Um, you don't have options menu, which is weird. Meaning I I probably have to read. Does your detail panel include trees and shit? No. Just healer, tank, mage, which already have their names on it. That was a cool animation on the on the player. It's nice. I mean, it clipped with his sword. Um, since characters are right-handed, it seems. Yeah, characters are universally right-handed. Uh, they're. Animations for spells should be cast with their left hand. Um, otherwise, it looks really sloppy. He's just like shoving his sword out there. Okay. Wait. Okay, so the scroll wheel, Tim zooming the camera in and out, it actually moves my positioning forward and backwards. Which is neat. Um, whatever sh shader you're using is actually pretty nice. Um, because I, I have two different distinct looks on my monitors. My main monitor is it's set up for gaming um, with really vibrant colors. And my secondary monitor is more cinematic. Uh, and there's a very obvious change in them, which is really nice. Um, so for people with different color setups, this game actually does look fairly pretty. Alright, what can we do? Oh. Get over there. Alright, let me, uh, let me tab out and let me read your page, see if there's anything that I'm, like, supposed to be doing that you don't have, like, an outline tutorial for. Or whatever. Uh, you can move some elves around, get a quest, and kill some goblins. Later versions will include better models, more quests, more refined combat, and lots of small simulation stuff for depth. Uh, I've never played Kenshi, so I don't, I don't have a reference point for that. Um, someone didn't have enough time for base building or NPC settlements. Yeah, definitely refine your normal shit first before you, you go in there. Arrow key or middle mouse click to rotate camera. That is useful. There, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And then shift speeds it up. Nice. Uh, can I click drag? I can. I kill that guy. Oh, it's quest giver. Goblin killing. Where are the goblins? This is some, like, uh, some, some Fallout 4 dialogue. Really good stuff right there. Go kill goblins now. They're at the cave. Nice. Sick. All right, let's. Come on, party. Let's, let's get. Let's get over there. Kill them little boys. Do they auto combat? They do not auto combat. Or they do, but they have to go to their destination first. Um, you should have a toggle. 
uh, like an aggression toggle for your characters. Um, that would be really nice. That way, uh, in you know, in your final product, your uh, you know, let's let's just fucking let's nuke these kids. Uh, in your final product, you are able to set a destination and then you can toggle on aggression that way if they encounter any enemies along the way they will stop their movement um, and go directly for um, combat which I think could be neat countering some lag now um, definitely need an options menu that way I can completely remove motion blur this is the bane of my existence um, motion blur can look good, but yeah, fucking gotcha, kid. Uh, it can look good, but it's it's not the thing for me. Oh, we got a little crack in the wall. Can we go in there? Oh, hey, player has a collider. <laughs> Player has a physics-based movement collider. So that means... Wait, so instead of... It's so weird that you, you have a... You have like a... F a kinematic character controller. Oh. Hey, music isn't universal in your ears. It is location-based. That's good to know. You have um you have like a kinematic character controller with a first person camera on it. Um so you can fall through holes. You should probably swap that to a third person camera on an invisible object um that does not encounter gravity. Uh otherwise you get these kind of scenarios. So let me hit quit and let's boot it back up. We'll do a little speed run. Um, sound would be really nice, uh, by the way. Uh, we, have, we have background music, but um, some sound effects would be really cool. Um, I feel like early in development, the, the closer you get to your like completed product stage um the better so like at any point in time like even as a demo you could call it a finished game because you you polish along the way with sound effects um if that makes any sense so like at, at every because if, if you just continue building uh, and adding things in and then you have to go back through and think about, all right, I need sound effects and you go and you go and you go and then you're like, wait a minute, I'm playtesting and this specific thing doesn't have a sound effect. How could I forget that? That way, as, as you do it, as you go, you just game ends up being better um, just by uh... wait. Okay. It, it wasn't letting me move, so I thought I was actually the, the cast target. Not cast target, but the caster. As opposed to the mage, and the mage just played an animation. Um, yeah, polish along the way. Uh, that way it's actually less work in the end, because you don't have to backtrack. Yeah, these goblins are just gonna fucking kill little Meiji boy. Your AI is pretty basic. Um, which, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's early development. But definitely, definitely throw your basics in. I wonder if I just... Okay, no. So it's not a, it is a third person camera, but it is on a kinematic controller. If 
because I, I physically fell through. Can we go in here? We can go in here. You definitely need camera colliders. Um, I don't know what you're building this on, but you know, if it's Unity, check out Cinema Machine. You have like concrete foundation textures almost, because you can see the seams. Um, I'm just going to explore your map a little bit, see if there's anything that's been planned. Hello, lady? Do I have to be within a certain proximity? Or can you just not talk to the NPC? What is... Fucking Skyrim Mills? Good lord. Are dead. The game is over now. Let's uh, do a little bit of exploring. See what all you've uh, built on. If you have. What is this over here? Um, riverbed, looks like, over here. And then. What? We found your border. Yeah, you just brushing and goofing off over here. I see. Some weird log. Also, because you do have a, a, a kinematic controller, you'll see when I go over this, you get that that sinking in the camera. Oh, that's a strange hitbox. Is that a capsule? It's a capsule, isn't it? Oh. Alright, yeah, cool little game. Uh, you know, polish as you go. The compass is okay, I suppose. Uh, it could be smaller, and you could put some uh, some lines in it. Because uh, it just makes it better than... Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's this direction, you know. Um, so fairly okay. Your, your assets are fairly nice. I mean, the, the elves don't look the greatest. I'll keep it honest there. Like these guys. Or girls. Also, there's something really weird going on with your outlining. Like, uh... Wait, is that actually how they're shaped? That's actually how they're shaped, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, something's wrong with their tummies, homie. Does she got a weird tummy? No, because she's important. But these homies look like they ate a medieval, like, hock of ham. They're probably just using animations that aren't really compatible with their mesh because their arms look kind of goofy, too. Either way, uh, you know. Uh, this is your your first little thing. Good job on your progress so far. Uh, just polish as you go, and give me sounds and a menu that I can dick around with. <laughs> 